BCG is our gold standard for the treatment, especially for high-risk or high-grade non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. Parenthetically, even though it's been around since the 1980s, it's still underutilized and that when we look at a number of different studies, less than half of the patients that should be getting treated with intravescular BCG are actually receiving it. Nonetheless, there are at least 30 to 40 percent of patients who are treated with intravescular BCG with high-grade disease that despite therapy go on to recurrent high-grade bladder cancer or more ominously develop progressive muscle invasive bladder cancer. Well, that's the uh, $64,000 question. I think that uh, the urology community has been, uh, uh, I think it's mostly the urology community's fault that we don't follow the guidelines. The American Urology Association just came out with new guidelines for, uh, in 2015 for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, and it's our hope that, that there will be greater uh, adherence to those guidelines. They're relatively simple to follow algorithms that in, in detail how we should diagnose non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, how we should treat it, and most importantly, how we should survey it to uh, keep a close eye on the recurrences and or progressions.